Today we're going to take a look at some other rules with powers and exponents. First we're going to look at our key vocabulary. The first vocabulary word is numerical expression. A numerical expression is an expression that contains only numbers and operations. A numerical expression is an expression that contains only numbers and operations. Our next vocabulary word is evaluate. Evaluate means to find the value of a numerical expression. So evaluate means to find the value of a numerical expression. Our last key vocabulary word is order of operations. Order of operations is a set of rules used to evaluate expressions. Order of operations is a set of rules used to evaluate expressions. So many of you may have heard of mnemonic devices. They help you remember key steps or places or locations. So for order of operations, we have a mnemonic device, PEMDAS. So some of you may have heard it before as the phrase, please, Excuse, my dear Aunt Sally. Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. So this is a phrase and a short sentence that can help you remember these five, I'm sorry, these six letters and what they stand for. So the first letter is P, and in order of operations, the P indicates the parentheses that may be used. The letter E represents the exponents. So in this case, the two would be my exponent. The M and the D represent multiplication and division. And the A and the S stand for addition and subtraction. With multiplication and addition and subtraction, it will be important to remember that those operations are interchangeable. You will perform the operation from left to right in the problem. You will still complete any multiplication and division problems before the addition and subtraction problems. So now we're going to apply these rules to a few examples. We are first going to look at A, 12 minus 2 times 4. You can see that I do not have any parentheses, I do not have any exponents, but I do have a multiplication problem. It's indicated by the dot. I like to underline this problem that I complete first in the expression. 2 times 4 is 8. I'm going to write 8 and then I'm going to recopy the rest of the expression. Now I am left with 12 minus 8 and 12 minus 8 is 4. Example B is 7 plus 60 divided by the quantity 3 times 5. The word quantity is another way to refer to parentheses that are in an actual problem. So first I need to do the parentheses. That's the first order. So I have 7 plus 60 divided by 15. So I can leave the parentheses or once I complete the operation, I can even move the parentheses. After multiplication, I have division. There is a division problem. 60 divided by 15. 60 divided by 15 is 4. Then I have 7 plus 4, which is a sum of 11. You'll notice that when I work out the problem, I work down on my paper. I do not work across, and it creates this funnel on your page until you get to the value of the expression. The next example, C, is 30 divided by the quantity 7 plus 2 to the third power times 6. In this example, I have a set of parentheses. 
But within that, I also have an exponent. When you have a set of parentheses, you have to follow the order of operations inside your parentheses. It's almost like it's a separate problem. So I need to complete the exponent first. 2 to the third power, remember, is 2 times 2 times 2. The base is 2. The exponent tells me how many times to repeat that factor. So 30 divided by 7 plus 8. 2 to the third power is 8. And then I recopy the rest of the problem. My next step is by parentheses. So I'm still going to have to add inside of those parentheses. 30 divided by 7 plus 8 is 15 times 6. Now I have a multiplication and division problem. Even though the multiplication problem comes second and the division problem is first, with order of operations, when you have multiplication and division, they are interchangeable. So whichever one comes first left to right is what you complete first. 30 divided by 15 is 2 times 6, which is 12. In my next example, which is example D, I have 15 minus 4 times the quantity 6 plus 1 divided by 2 to the second power. I have a set of parentheses first, so I have 15 minus 4 times 7 divided by 2 squared. Although the 7 is in a parentheses, here it indicates multiplication. So I'm going to complete the exponent value first. 2 to the second power is 4. So I have 15 minus 4 times 7 divided by 4. I have a multiplication problem and a division problem, but I have to do them from left to right. So since my multiplication problem of 4 times 7 is first, I need to make that minus 28 and then divide it by 4. Next, I can take 28 divided by 4, which is 7, and 15 minus 7 is 8. Oftentimes, if you do an incorrect step in the problem, you will not end up with a whole number answer. It's a good way to check. Our final example is example E. 9 plus 7 times the quantity 5 minus 2. Again, I have an operation inside of the parentheses. 5 minus 2 is 3. So that's going to be 7 times 3. And then I'm going to recopy the problem. So I have 9 plus 7 times 3. 7 times 3 is 21. 9 plus 21 is 30. So the value of this expression is 30.